Illegal tobacco is not a bargain. It funds criminal activity, fueling human trafficking, the drugs trade, and loan sharks. Uh, we entered these premises on suspicion that um, illegal tobacco has been being sold after receiving intelligence. Um, came to the premises, um, met two Kurdish males. Uh, from memory, when we visited these premises in the past, um, a different business, different shop. What caused us um, suspicion were these cameras, the same type that was inside and the way they were pointed at the door. Um, we've opened this door, gained entry to this door, entered the premises, gone into the back, uh, encountered another Kurdish male in the dark, curled up on this seat in here. Uh, in somewhat of a, say, an intoxicated state, um, he won't speak. He didn't have a key on him for this door, which was locked. We gain entry into that. You can now see when we've gained forced entry into this door, we found um, the illegal tobacco that we uh, suspected was here. And you can see this sliding hatch here that goes through into the shop. And it's directly adjacent to the counter. You can see it opens and closes, we'll pass the tobacco through there. This is what we'd uh, term a staff house, so evidence of further Kurdish males sleeping in here. ID's been found, obviously sleeping on the floor. Ending up to the next floor. These rooms don't seem to be in the use as much. Again, this is the third floor. So when we came up here, we found that this window would be broken. There's a possibility that um, people may have exited the building, but they've had to go. They've had to have gone over the roof. Even if you don't buy it, even if you don't smoke it, we all pay the price of illegal tobacco. Help us keep it out of our neighbourhoods.